in a small Midwestern town, nestled among sprawling cornfields, a dark tradition enfolds each Halloween. The locals are bound by a chilling ritual to prevent a catastrophe, involving a creature known as Sawtooth Jack. According to town folklore, if Sawtooth Jack reaches the local church before midnight, disaster will befall the community. To avert this, the town conducts the run, a ritual where teenage boys hunt and kill Sawtooth Jack, extracting candy hidden within his body. The successful boy is hailed as a hero, receiving a house, money, a car, and the rare privilege to leave the town, which is otherwise forbidden. The year is 1962, and the night of the run approach us. Masked teenage boys gather, adrenaline and fear mingling in the crisp autumn air. Among them is Jim, whose determination is palpable. As Sartooth Jack emerges, chaos ensues. The creature mercilessly kills one boy, igniting a vengeful pursuit led by Jim. In a dramatic confrontation near the church, Jim overpowers and kills Sawtooth Jack, triumphantly retrieving the candy from the monsters inside. The town erupts in celebration, lauding Jim as the newest hero. However, his victory is bittersweet, as his departure from the town means leaving his younger brother, Richie, behind. A year later, the ritual looms again. The town's sheriff, Jerry, reinforces the importance of the run at the local school, reminding the teens of the disastrous year when Sawtooth Jack was not stopped. Richie, now eager to participate, feels stifled by the rule that only one son per family can join the run. His frustration grows, particularly with the constant glorification of his absent brother. Riley, a classmate, mocks Richie's desire to volunteer, igniting tensions. Some teens harbor doubts about Sawtooth Jack's existence, suspecting it's a ruse by adults. However, Bud, Richie's friend, insists he's witnessed the monster. After a school altercation, Richie encounters Kelly, a new girl in town. Despite an immediate connection, racial prejudices prevent her from attending the upcoming Halloween dance. Richie vows to change this if he wins the run. Fueled by his friend's encouragement and his own aspirations, Richie resolves to defy the rules and join the run. His announcement leads to a heated argument with his parents, culminating in Richie's defiant departure. Elsewhere, the enigmatic farmer prepares for the night, bringing Sawdooth Jack to life once more. The tension in the small town mounts as Halloween approaches. us. Richie's determination to join the run, despite his family's objections and the town's rules, sets a defiant tone. His encounter with Riley escalates into violence when Riley steals Jim's cherished belt from Richie, a memento of his brother. Enraged and seeking solace, Richie spends the night with Jim's ex, trying to escape the weight of expectations and familial pressure. In the shadows of the cornfields, the ritualistic revival of Sawtooth Jack unfolds. The farmer, a mysterious figure in this sinister tradition, prepares Sawtooth Jack for the night's hunt. The creature, donning a pumpkin head, is set loose, reigniting the cycle of terror and violence that has gripped the town for generations. As Halloween night draws near, the town's teens are forcibly confined, a cruel method to incite their frenzy for the upcoming run. The boys are left desperate and hungry, their pleas for mercy falling on deaf ears. This barbaric tradition aims to prime them for the brutal task ahead. The night of the run arrives with an air of ominous expectation. So Dooth Jack is unleashed, and the town's teenage boys are released from their confinement, driven by hunger and rage. Richie, slipping away from his parents' grasp, joins his friends Bud and Mitch in their truck armed and masked, ready to confront the monster. However, their plan quickly unravels. The truck, perceived as an unfair advantage, becomes a target for other boys, who attack it in jealousy and anger. Despite these setbacks, Richie and his friends press on, determined to find and kill Sawdooth Jack. In the cornfields, their confrontation with the creature turns deadly. Sawtooth Jack's brutal assault leaves Mitch and Charlie dead, and Bud, feigning death, narrowly escapes. As Bud returns to town, seeking refuge and reprieve, 
he is met with cold rejection from his parents, who urge him to continue the run for the sake of the family's future. The violence escalates as Sawtooth Jack makes his way through the town, leaving a trail of destruction and death. Richie, encountering Kelly in the chaos, finds an unlikely ally. Together, they decide to confront the creature head-on. Armed with stolen weapons and fueled by a desire to end the nightmarish tradition, as they prepare for the final showdown, Richie discovers a disturbing truth about the fate of the run's winners, casting doubt on everything he believed about his brother's victory and the town's ritual. The revelation that the winners may not be living a life of luxury, but rather sacrificed to perpetuate Sawtooth Jack's return, shatters Richie's resolve. The final hours of Halloween night in the small Midwestern town are fraught with terror and revelation. Richie and Kelly, armed and resolute, set out to confront Sawdoof Jack, determined to put an end to the monstrous cycle. Their journey leads them back to town, where chaos reigns. The streets are overrun by frenzied teens, embroiled in violence and looting, driven mad by the ritual's cruel preconditioning. Amid the anarchy, Richie and Kelly have a close encounter with Sheriff Jerry, who reveals a dark secret. He murdered Kelly's parents when they attempted to escape the town. In a fit of rage, Kelly attacks Jerry, resulting in a stray bullet grazing her. Richie, defending Kelly, subdues Jerry and the pair flee in a stolen police car. Their attempt to leave town is thwarted when they encounter a roadblock set up by Jerry. Forced into the cornfields, Richie faces a harrowing choice when confronted by Sawdooth Jack. In a shocking twist, he recognizes his brother Jim's belt on the creature, realizing the horrifying truth. The winners of the run are transformed into Sawtooth Jack for the next year's ritual. A desperate confrontation ensues. Riley, manipulated by Jerry, attempts to kill Sawtooth Jack and claim the hero's title. But Richie, in a moment of agonizing clarity, understands that his brother's suffering must end. With a heavy heart, he takes the fatal shot, ending Sawdooth Jack's torment and, with it, Jim's cursed existence. The aftermath of the run is a grim spectacle. Richie, numb and disillusioned, is lauded as the new hero amid the town's celebrations. He shares a defiant dance with Kelly at the Halloween party openly challenging the town's bigoted norms. Secretly armed and planning their escape, Richie and Kelly prepare to leave the Kiss Town forever. However, their plan is upended by a final confrontation with Jerry. In a tense standoff in the cornfields, Richie courageously faces the corrupt sheriff. The encounter ends with Richie killing Jerry, but not before the enigmatic farmer intervenes, burying Richie alive in a pre-dug grave. A year later, the cycle of horror perpetuates. The farmer unearths Richie's body, transforming him into the new Sawtooth Jack, a tragic fate for the boy who sought to break the town's sinister tradition. In a final act of defiance, Dan, Richie's father, kills the farmer and urges his monstrous son to unleash vengeance upon the town, setting the stage for a fiery reckoning. This tale of terror in the cornfields concludes with a haunting reminder of the consequences of unchecked traditions and the cyclical nature of violence and oppression in small-town America.